Are the Clippers scared of playing the Lakers? Judging by their end of season strategy, they just might be. Let's dive in. Hi guys, it's Devin Howard. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to The Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. There's a theory around the NBA that claims teams avoided playing the Lakers in the final days of the regular season, the Clippers and the Nuggets in particular, and Stephen A. Smith talked about it. Here's what he had to say. Losing on purpose to avoid the Lakers? Losing on purpose to avoid the team we've been told they were going to take out last year. The team they were supposed to supplant as kings in L.A. Remember that commercial with the crown dangling from the mirror of Kawhi Leonard? Convertible? That doesn't sound like a champion to me. So here's what went down. The number three seed was up for grabs, and instead of playing their best players, the Clippers rested Paul George and Kawhi Leonard in their last two games against the two teams with the worst record in the Western Conference. Without Kawhi and PG-13 on the floor, they lost both of those games. The result? It's nearly impossible for them to see the Lakers before the Western Conference Finals. Now the Nuggets pulled a similar move here. They rested their key starters in Aaron Gordon, Nikola Jokic, and Michael Porter Jr. in the second half of their game against the Portland Trailblazers. Had the Nuggets beaten the Trailblazers, they would have played the Lakers in the first round. It's an interesting tactic and one that I think was a little bit more intentional coming from the Clippers. It's something Jared Dudley couldn't even help but notice. He said, quote, I do think it was funny that you see a lot of teams, as you would say, managing these last couple games to try and avoid us and stuff like that. It's funny to see that. We're the defending champs. They've got to worry about us. We're getting healthy at the right time and no one wants to see a healthy Lakers team. He's onto something there. Nobody does want to see a healthy Lakers team, but was it really a good strategy. Wouldn't it have been better to face LeBron earlier when he's still coming back into his best shape from his ankle injury? Or does this allow the Clippers and the Nuggets to get into true playoff form before facing a healthy Lakers squad? One big takeaway for me is that the Battle of LA really is no battle at all. If the Clippers went to these lengths to avoid the Lakers, while the Lakers didn't really seem to care who they played in the first round of the playoffs, it tells me that the Lakers still reign supreme. What do you guys think? Do the Clippers really fear the Lakers? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble and I'll see you guys later.